Today, I give a talk on the longevity of Japanese family business. The subtitle is Good for the buyer, good for the seller, good for the world. Let me give you first some facts and figures on family business in Japan. Of the 2.6 million companies in Japan, roughly 97% are family businesses. And out of the listed companies, around 1,877 companies are family companies. The lion's share of the Japanese family businesses are not listed. Roughly 77.4% of the employees work for Japanese family business. According to the White Book of Japan, there is one issued in 2015 and the second one in 2018. The third edition will be um, on the market from November this year. There is the definition as follows. Two or more persons of one family are at the same point or of time or on consequent periods member of the board or owners. The average age of the company head in Japanese family business rose from 40 years in 1964 to 59 years in 2004. The business sectors of Japanese family business are for listed companies, usually the sales, the wholesale, machinery, electronics, IT, chemical, food and beverage, and construction. This is different from what we know usually from the 10 big business sectors of blue chips. Non-listed Japanese family businesses are engaged in food, as Japanese confectionery, soy sauce, beverage like tea and sake, traditional inns, which is ryokan in Japanese. Then we have sales of apparel usually and machinery. The oldest family businesses are centuries old. The oldest one is Nishiyama Onsen Keionkan from 706, which holds the Guinness record. Senno no Yu has been founded in 717 and Hoshi Onsen one year later in 718. The picture on the right side is from the Hoshi, which is a traditional Japanese onsen. The oldest company in the world is the Kongo Gumi. It has been founded in 587 and uh, for the construction of a Buddhist temple. It has been taken as part of a Takamatsu construction group in 2016, so it is not independent, although it is still run like a family business. There are family businesses who are older than 100 years. The number of 2016 is roughly 29,000, and the number of 2019 is more than 33,000. Older than 200 years, is company family business 1,341. And we have companies which are older than 300 years, this is over 630, and also older than 400 years, this is 153. This is a really large number and is the, number, the largest number of old family firms in the world. What is the reason for? The one is really definitely in, hold in the family system E. The succession is, and has the focus on ancestor veneration. That means that a successor needs to obey the Shinto rituals or since the 7th century also the Buddhist rituals, um, which need to be followed for the sake of the, of the souls of the deceased. And in the 7th century there was a registration book uh, introduced where all the family members or all the members living under one roof needed to be registered. In this time, we have a change from the matrilinear to patrilinear succession. Later in the centuries, there comes a strat social stratification um, with the emperor's family, the Tenno on top. Then we have the nobles from the court, below that the, uh, the, the samurai. And then we have a, dis a distinction between the peasants, which is made up of, of farmers, craftsmen and merchants. The merchants is at the bottom of the social stratification. But all the families are more or less organized in the family system Ie, which for a larger clan is, is called Dozoku. Usually the small family business, like the hotels or small shops, are run in the hand of one family Ie, and the larger ones hold, are held by the families like Dozoku. One of the most famous examples is the Mitsui family. Until 1945, the family had controlled almost all resources of the house. With all the members living there, he had to approve the marriage 
and uh, educate the employees. And so um, all the resources were under, in the hand of the family head. Since 1945, there have been le legal changes in the civil right. So only the family members and only up to three generations can be registered in the family register. Another late change came with the inheritance tax. The law now allows the spouse to receive 50% and all children are equally distributed 50 the second 50%. Let's come back to the Japanese family system E. The continuity of the family name is a brand. The family head and the spouse make a fam found a family and in the Koseki, the family register, there is entered the spouse and the children. And the next step, when the family head dies, the position of the family head is passed to the spouse. Further, after the death of the spouse, the eldest son inherits the position of the family head. The eldest son inherits the ie, so the family house, and there is the obligation to perpetuate the name of the house and the rituals of ancestor administration. The family head has the obligation to hand over the house to the future generation. That means that he needs to marry, give birth to a son, and this son shall, shall then succeed as a family head. What happens to other um, siblings of the eldest son? The second son will set up a branch a family, the bunke, so-called bunke, and daughters marry into different fa families. What happens if there is no son in the main family? Then the second son, the first one needs to continue the branch house, no? the second son of a branch house may be adopted into the main family or the stem family, the honke, and continue so the, the, the honke family system. If there is no son available in the main family or in the branch family, then from the extended family, um, maybe from the line of, of one daughter, the second son, not the first one in this case again, may be adopted in order to continue the family, the main family. In this case, the surname will be changed due to the adoption. If we go to some examples of, of famous Japanese family businesses, then we can find how this year is continued. One very famous um, family business is uh, Gekkei Kan, which is a producer of sake, Japanese rice wine. The family has been founded in 1649, and all the generations are bi biological sons of the Okura family. But this is a, by, by chance, as the family head says, no, usually there is more need to, for adoption, because it was not always um, easy to bring up the, the kids. So we have the family of um, Fukuhara here, which is Shiseido, a very um, famous company as well. It has been founded in 1872. And uh, on this family tree, we have the, the male members only. The founder is Alinobu, in the first generation, so as to say, and he had five sons. Out of his five sons, the first one, died at a young age, and the second one even longer in infant, uh, even earlier in infant time. So the, the first son was not of a good health, and so the father, Arim Nobo, asked the third son, Shinzo, um, to help the, the first son out and to become the first president, so the, the first president in the next generation. This is an yeah, unusual case, case because the eldest son is still alive. But as we see in the next generation, this, there is a switch back to the main family and the next um, president is uh, from, the, from the stem family, is the son of the eldest son, Shin Shinichi. And what is also unusual here is that many family members, male family members of the other uh, branches are in, active in the company as well. But it always returns to the main family of uh, the Fukuhara. We give some other examples um, for companies, for family businesses with adopted sons. The one is the Onsen Hoshi, what we in initially already mentioned, with uh, Hoshi Zengoro family, now in the 43rd generation. 
Almost all of the successors are adopted sons. Not so many of adopted sons are in the Santori family. Actually, there is another um, thing which is quite unusual because the eldest son had a son but uh, was not able to follow the business and so the founder asked his second son to return to the family business. He has married into his um, wife's family and has adopted the, her fam name, family name, Saji. And in the following years, there was a need to hand over the presidency of the family, of the family business to um, the first main family, of the first son's family line. But there was also a change to the second son's family line. And as astonishingly, we have also a member of the third son's family line in the family business. This is quite unusual, but it's uh, maybe because of, of it is an, um, a large family and a listed family. There is another example of a family with adopted sons, um, which is quite famous. This is Suzuki Motors. Suzuki Motors was founded in 1911, and they have the principle of, of having all, only adopted sons in the next generation. Although the biological son exists, but the idea is that an adopted son may be more committed and maybe more uh, bring in more experience than a biological son. This philosophy is followed as, to, as of, of today, and when um, some a couple of years ago, the designated um, adopted son um, died because of cancer, then the, the, the former president need to return Osamu, and now at the age of 92, is still struggling to find a successor. So maybe this would be the first time that the biological son become a, a CEO. This is not known yet because the next um, head will be elected by external board members. In comparison to international family or uh, family businesses abroad, Japanese family has the following features. It's a single successor. There is a founder, the next generation and the next next generation. There is usually only one member per family gen for per generation from the family. And usually it is from the stamp family. And also when they come from branch families, usually one member from um, one generation in the family business. And usually there is only the male members of the family active in the family business. In comparison to that, in non-Japanese family businesses, there are family offices from the third generation onwards. And another thing contributed to the longevity of the Japanese family businesses. This is family constitutions and precepts. The merchants especially developed something what can be called the way of the merchant, Shomindo, maybe a little bit adopted from the way of the warrior, Bushido. We already had the, the case of the family business um, of Mitsui. Mitsuo, Mitsui Hachilobe um, published the first family constitution in 1722 and defined the succession on how the, the succession should be distributed among his sons and the other three family branches. There was a revision in 19 and this family constitution was valid until 1945. And it all allowed also a succession to females, but it never happened. There was the regulation of financial relations between the main and the branch families, uh, very much um, pointed out in this constitution, and the permanent budget installed for, to be administered by the main family only. So this, in the, this family constitution, there was kind of a holding structure established, and this already at the beginning of the 18th century. Within the constitution, there have been some rules which were, may be a little bit surprisingly the one is that it should be avoided to have business with officials. And this was because the officials maybe would not return the, the, the payments. But it was very much pointed out that honesty and morality should be upheld under all circumstances. This is Article 20. And of course, 
It is each man's duty to believe in the Shinto gods and Buddha and to follow the teachings of Confucianism. Followed, the gods of Buddha lie within one's heart. We point out this family constitution here because later on, many Japanese family businesses copied the constitution of the Mitsui family. On the other hand, we have um, some Omi merchants, which Omi is a province which is uh, north from Kyoto, the old capital, which developed another philosophy. This is uh, what we had in the, in the title already, the Sampo Yoshi. It's good for the seller, good for the buyer, good for the world. What is mean by, meant by that? That is that um, the more merchants gave some letters, the mothers gave some letters or wrote some letters to their sons, which were on the paddling, and they instructed them how to live their life. Get up early, be diligent, be a good role model, do not drink too much, do not scold too much, don't think bad about others, be kind and humble to everybody, obey to ancestor veneration, and follow the rituals of gods and Buddhist rituals. Learn reading and writing, what means calligraphy, and learn to use the abacus. Perform your work with concentration, obey the rules, be frugal and speak courteously. Treat employees warm-hearted and with friendly words. Care for a good atmosphere so that they feel comfortable and accept your role as the boss. Be attentive to good manners towards customers so that they return happily. And of course, help the people in your community, which was necessary because of the many natural disasters like earthquakes, tsunami, rain, and so on. This was dubbed helping construction. Good for the seller, good for the buyer, good for the world. We need to have in mind that in the 18th century, the world was the, the, the surroundings, and uh, so the engagement should be done for the sake of the nation, of the Japanese nation, of course. The philosophy was here, I have a personal commitment to the employees also and to the customers and included also the community. To wrap up, Japanese family business is the most oldest in the world and the successors are almost male. The longevity is because of the family system IE. The family had administered all the overall resources and is responsible for ancestor veneration. Adoption is one option to achieve longevity. Decision on succession in family is decision on succession in family business and vice versa. The value from family percepts, Sampo Yoshi, include the members of the family business and the surrounding community, which is today known as the corporate social responsibility. What are the challenges of today? There is a decrease of birth rate and so it is even in Japan difficult to find a successor. Daughters are less willing to marry the prospective um, successors and sons are less willing to enter the company. So maybe we find more adoption or should we find female succession in future? We'll see. And another challenge is the high inheritance tax for all children, which is um, depending on the size of the company, more than 50%. Thank you for your attention.